And welcome again, dear friends, to another edition of uh, Fresh Bread. Well, you know, we are having to do that thing once again. We're turning that calendar page, aren't we? Here it is, November the 1st, 2021. Amazing how this uh, year has really flown by. You know, last year, now that was a different year, wasn't it? 2020. That was a year that seemed like it was in a perpetual state of just a, a blur almost. I never could tell what the month was after COVID hit. You know, all of those little things we used to kind of differentiate one season from the next. Those were all gone. You know, we didn't have our basketball tournaments in March. That kind of set spring up. And then didn't have the start of the baseball season in April. And summer started out and we didn't have anything going on sports-wise as far as baseball and even if you're not a big sports fan, those kind of things do make a difference, I think, just in our ability to track the times of the year. And, uh, of course, everything was shut down pretty much in 2020. So this year feels a lot more like normal. Certainly, we are, we're still struggling with everything. We're just kind of having to deal with it, you know. But anyway, we're on November 1st. Now, this is Monday, November 1st, so... Thanks for spending a minute of your time here with me today. Actually, five minutes of your time. And again, this is Pastor Phil Anderson here, Vocal United Methodist Church in Kansas Avenue, United Methodist Church. We we have these little get-togethers every day, just about, God willing, Mondays through Saturdays. And I record them uh, usually a few days ahead, so that's kind of what's going on today. Today happens to be a rainy day here in Kansas. I'm actually, I finally got myself kind of caught up. I tell you what, I felt like I was behind for about three months, just literally chasing my tail. And now I'm kind of caught up, thank God. And I hope it stays that way. I can stay on top of things. Really busy time of year coming up, though. Wow. This is the beginning of a very... Very busy time of year, isn't it? I was looking on the internet this afternoon for some updated worship songs and came across a couple of new Christmas songs that are already... <clears throat> they were put online about five days ago. Of course, the stores have had Christmas things up for weeks and weeks. You know what's funny, the the way things are going, I, I, I'm going to take a little detour here with you today because, see, we all live in this world. We all live in this real world. And we all, most of us live in this, are in the city of Topeka, Kansas. And there's a real tendency, I think at some point, to kind of look back nostal- nostalgically. Is that a word? Nostalgically? Well, anyway, you know what I'm saying. Looking back with fondness over times that have gone by, and I'm just thinking, man, that's a, that's going to be hard not to do because Christmas time brings back so much memories. And and for some, it's it's great. Mem- for I think for most people, it's really good memories. There are some that are it's painful because maybe they lost a loved one. It hurts to go out for those that did, maybe through COVID or other situations. I know several in our church family have lost loved ones and relatives this last, even the last few months. And we know it's not going to be the same kind of Christmas for them. So we always kind of want to be sensitive to that, you know. And and yet at the same time, we still go ahead and we, we honor the Lord Jesus at this time of year. It's not in the Bible to honor Jesus at this time of year. It's just something we do. And... <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm going to talk a little bit more in the next few days, I think, just about this time of year. And, and we are now in November, so we we need people to uh, step up. If you're one of those listening to this, maybe, maybe there's just a few who listen to these. I really don't know how many people listen to them. But if you listen and you do go to either Kansas Avenue or Oakland United Methodist Church, I'm going to talk a little bit about some of the things that the members can do in the next few weeks to really help make this a special time of year, even with everything that's going on. So I hope you'll join me again tomorrow and the rest of this week for more Fresh Bread. Until then, have a great day and God bless you.